well, I guess it's that time in your upload cycle again where I have to go and record some more lethal RPG myself. Because I've no one in this room to drink with and tell them how terrible this game is or how mediocre this game is. Well, let's just get in and out of this one nice and quick, hey, my friends. And I don't care if a game volume today is too loud, too quiet, or whatever. I'm just here just to do things such as mine terrible ores, which gives you platinum, silver, and gold. If I was playing Space Engineers, I'd be over the moon at finding these things, but I'm not playing Space Engineers, I'm playing this. So anyway, where did we leave off the last time we were tragically here? Well, I remember there was a really, really, really fucking stupid cutscene where... Well, basically, it turned out the game didn't want to end yet. We had to go and deal with something else. Um, I think it involved... What the fuck did it involve? Yeah, I can't even remember. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Uh, we beat the big bad guy, but it just turned out there was an even bigger bad guy because, well, we're once more we'll going just through those standard issue tropes. And somehow, yeah, I do remember, we had to go to this wall, also known as Gregor's Blockhead, and we had to go and help him out, so... Just going away, that doesn't. Oh, wait, that looks. I have to do a random battle either way. Right, well, let's get through it quickly then. Let's just make this one quick because we still have three more zones to go through, sadly. Unless this game finds another way to make itself longer, but we have to go through Forgotten Lands, Open Plate, and the final place, Dark Force. The creativity just remains absolutely on top of everything, right? Let's get moving then, across this map, even though my guy barely knows how to move out of it, so spoon feed instructions to him. And, oh, we have to do two random battles anyway. Just my luck. Right, make it quick. Battle with exclamation marks. Oh, it seems weird as again. And you guys who hate being, like, covered in wind, well, get covered in wind, because I honestly don't give a shit. And uh, do elemental heaven damage and oh yeah just some you know just some of the big guy as well just do just do just some big things oh we could get zapped and clouded and other things and there we go oh yeah but light damage is ineffective and so is wind damage so what's it that you guys die to again because i don't have a very good time retaining memories from this game well i have anyway, just summoned an earthquake uh set fire to them then just do fire attacks oh actually you know what do the stone one because then we can just become immune to everything but now nah. we'll just do fire attacks oh we could just get wet and then just murdered in one move go because once more this game bullshits initiative and fire was ineffective though and that's a fantastic sleeping animation there Okay, right, because my memory sucks, well, I, I still play the game for this, and uh, just examine him and work out what they're weak to, and then we'll just fudge the entire battle. Or you could just go to a sleep. Yeah, once more, the uh, combat in this game is excessively fair and balanced, and not at all completely bullshitted because of a stupid initiative. Uh, right, that's, they're only hurt by dark things. I don't do dark things, though. Unless I just get all my dark characters out, well fine. Do a dark attack, so we do have that. That is also the revenge. Ooh, it's so big and scary, but whatever, just fucking die. Right, good. And I just have to quickly pay up the fee that I always have to pay up. Right, well, let's just manage our party then and make... Oh, wait, I forgot. Actually, yeah, well, one thing I do remember is, because I remember having to fudge this area the last time I was here, every other battle is against just a big old stone golem who's weak to wind. So if we're lucky, it should be just big old Mr. Stone Golem ready for us now so we can just fight him. Yeah! It's a big guy who's literally the only slightly cool looking thing in the world. Right, wind him up. We'll just, uh, well, we'll just absolutely wreck him now, basically. It's sad, but unfortunately, you, 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 I'm just going to slap your ass now. See, he's going to get wrecked, right? Make it quick, fellas. I want to get this one over and done with. Oh, right. wow, well, you just got punched in the chest there with your stupid ninja tosser sound, right? Whatever, right, wind attacks, um, you just do A attack because to be honest, you're useless in this one, Mr. Spiky Black Hair Guy. I could bring someone in who also has wind attacks, but unfortunately you just won't leave because apparently you always have to be in a party. You selfish, glory hogging bastard. Oh well, I still like Gersh, you're slapping a stone guy. There you go, he's eloquent. It's amazing as well how a big stone guy also made. Oh, by the way, he's now called Usimaki. 
still changes his name like every five minutes. I swear to God he does that. Right, anyway. Um, yeah, you just do one of your attack. Actually, wait, can you do the group heal thing so then I don't have to have someone else do it because uh, I'm lazy? Yes, you can, right? Do a group heal, you can do it because I'll have someone else do the wind spelling because you're useless today. Uh, I still don't like calling you lethal because to be honest, it's a fucking stupid. Oh dear, dear, she's been stuck. Oh well, group heal just fails to cure that. Well, done. I thought healing cured things. Oh well, what, am I, what do I know? What do I know at all? I know nothing because to be honest, well, I don't know anything. Okay, wait, ooh, wow. I kind of wish that sword had just cleaved him in half and just ended his life there and then. Maybe we can say, oh, that's. Oh, by the way, cursed statues don't bleed. No, it's vaguely thinking. Is there a movie where someone said, I will make you bleed? Or, oh, yeah, it was Batman vs. Superman. Another, like, product of mediocrity, but it's Batman vs. Superman. You can to sleep like this. Ah, you will bleed. Oh, what was how, Oh, wait, actually, no. I take it back because I can't even remember how the other. I mean, I remember the bleed thing, but was it, like, do you bleed? Yeah, yes, yeah, do you bleed? Like, it's like, oh yeah, you will Superman. Oh yeah, of course Superman can bleed. He fucking cut himself up and on like a fucking like stapler or something if he's if he's very clumsy. Anyway, there we go, we won the battle there and got some stuff, whatever. Bye. Right. Let's go to the next one. I'm guessing it's gonna be those sturdy garbery, whatever we're calling him. The only thing where we slightly could be bothered giving him a cool name. Oh we could upgrade stuff as well. Even though she's still basically wearing the um well let's face it, all um all arms are excessively modest, I mean. So put that, see? Modesty. Modesty. Ultra modesty, right. Um Why am I even harping on about that anyway? Uh right, can you do anything to do with wind? No, you would have thought an archer could do wind though. You definitely can. Oh no, wait, we're looking for dark actually now. Well, you're Victor, the Victor Von stupid fucking fuck fuck. So, uh, yeah, well, I'll upgrade your silver sickle today because I have lots of silver which I've just been acquiring and do not need to use to build, like, reactor components and space engineers for right now, even though I do. Um, right, fine, you can join the party, you can replace, uh, wizard. There you go, right, you're a level 24 necromancer. Can you do anything to do with darkness? Uh, well, you can do that bullshit triple striking thing. Uh, yeah, you know what, you can join a party today, but no, I don't trust you. Even though I got you at level 25, but whatever, fine. If you two, like, don't, like, oh, by the way, we can craft these, the impaling daggers, fine. Have some daggers that are impaling. Yeah, they look kind of impaling, right, fine, whatever. Let's just get them upgraded a little bit, there we go, right, done. And you, well, I still can't remove you from the party, even though I absolutely wish I fucking could, because that would make my life so much easier. But you know what, we'll do Dark Grasp, because that's dark, I guess, and then... Uh, I hate all these powers. I, I, just, I just hate everything. Uh, but, like, I'm, I'm, only ma I'm only making the effort here, because to be honest, I just want this game to end now, so... Oh wait, I forgot. Which one of you does dark? Is the cursed mushrooms do dark? Yeah, they do do dark. They are, they are dark. Even though, yeah, I, I bring in around this stupid fucking mushroom. I'm just gonna feed it loads of stuff. There we go. Right. It's now a plus. He's a le he's a level six mushroom, which I'm just bringing around because fuck my life. Right. Just just do this one. See, I knew it was dark things, and now we can summon the fucking weird thing off the of Simpsons. Right. So I can either mutate the minion to make it more powerful, uh, or do the, or do the uh, ultra frenzy actually, or the undead frenzy. Sorry, I actually unlocked his ultimate attack, which looks like a uh, a Microsoft Paint version of the Grim Reaper. I could do a unlock an unblockable strike for dark elemental damage. Yeah, we may as well just do that. If it's dark, we'll do it. You also do dark things. Let's just do really, really dark things. Um, I'm not going to do an insta kill thing. Do death sentence as well. Yeah, we'll do a death sentence. Max one for death. That's ooh, scary. Oh wait, I'm sorry. You are a, you are just a death sentence yourself. You just died in one hit. So why do I even bring you to a battle? Because you are absolutely useless. And again, this is lethal RPG. Combat once more. Is 
Is anyone even watching this, by the way? Can I just, like, I don't know, wank on, on, on camera or something? Because I feel like I could probably do that at this point. I have a feeling there's about one person watching this. So it's probably not even myself. I mean, I'm not even in the same room as I am now, like, in this commentary. I am literally somewhere else, and I just happen to be talking about Lethal RPG because someone somehow brought it up in conversation, and by the way, we've already fudged this battle because, you know what, just fuck these stupid things. <sighs> we live in the same timeline where I gave up playing Constructor because I hated it, and yet I also how I've carried on this game, but I think it's only because I am morbidly curious to see how fucking stupid the ending is going to be. I think that is literally the only thing that is keeping me going. And I'm being deadly serious, that is probably it. Still, I am somehow winning this battle, I might actually win this one. Not that I care though, not that I care, but... This was the only useful person in the battle, that's only because I basically heal more damage than I take per thing. So what's more? Totally not broken combat. Totally not broken. Then again, maybe I'm not, I don't know what I'm talking about. Or then again, maybe I do. I don't know. I should play some Halcyon 6 because at least Halcyon 6 turn first combat is, I don't know, manageable and not annoying. There we go. Right, we won. Whatever. Hooray! Right, there we go, we won, we got, we got some stuff, and may as well just steal all the treasure in the area, which was for cleaning tomes of steel and silver. Okay, and then what's over here? Gold, oak, vegetables, and essence. Right, whatever, right. Let's go over here then and just see. This is the Forbidden Passage. For centuries, these lands have been forbidden to enter by whose law, I don't even know. Although over time, the original reason for this has been lost, as we know, Something horrible happened here long ago, so bad that it was declared that no man may ever enter once more. Gregor's Barricade, named after King Gregor, the ruler of Lokia at the time, wow, that makes sense, was created to prevent anyone from entering or leaving the land. I feel like that's probably the first bit of semi-competent writing we've had in this game, and even then it's like literally boring my tits off, but whatever. And thus they became the Forgotten Land. What lay beyond these walls has been forgotten for centuries. However, since the Undead War, Gregor's Barricade has been abandoned and the Undead have been since entering and leaving. Wow, this is a a terrible blockade, man. I mean, just watch. I would just now walk past it. Was that literally all of it? I had to go there for just quick exposition dump. And there's the Forgotten Capital, by the way. Yeah, I guess it made its own lands up or whatever. I don't know. Here we are, though. Look at those trees. Are you picking up on anything, Edmund? Ooh, who's Edmund again? There, oh yeah, I forgot, he is a guy who fucked off and ran away to his ass. Uh, very faintly, I believe really he may still be in Forgotten Lands. There are fresh tracks here. I can't remember his voice and I don't care. There are fresh tracks here. A large group may have marched through here recently. Well, I don't see him. Wait, we are being watched. Hi guys, demons. No, those just look like kids who were actually put in some effort with their school play. Don't understand the tooth sword thing going on, or the... Yeah, you know what, these guys just <laughs> look stupid. The demons that took Edmund must have known we, we would follow and... Oh, really? We, they knew we were coming. My master, Thanatos, was saddened that you left him during his resurrection path. Thanatos, where the fuck have I heard that name before? I feel like that's a name that... Yeah, this is not an original character, is it? This... No, he is from somewhere, a piece of media, and I do not know. He was hoping to devour your souls. Don't try to say it isn't thing, it doesn't work. What have you done with Grandmaster Edmund? Question mark, explanation mark. My master needs strong and noble souls to regain his strength. I doubt that. Traversing a portal between worlds can be very tiring. Don't try comedy. Not going to ha- What's not going to happen? Oh well, whatever. Well, here are demons. I can probably predict what they're weak against without even inspecting. It's going to be all light all, all the time now. Which means this party is now effectively useless, but... Oh, well. Oh, and by the way, they're all poisoned now because, ha, I hate them. Uh, right, anyway. Yep, told you. Like, I, I just completely called it. 
who would have who would have thunk it apart from me, the greatest strategic tactician he but dick guy all up. But anyway, let's just wank for combat by uh, basically stealing souls. Um, also, you know, just do your light attack and uh, what's this? We can stab a skeleton in the ribs and make it look completely stupid. Yeah, fine, we'll go for a critical hit. Because critical hits are something I really hate, or at least. Oh, wow. Total crit there. Yeah, that, I mean. And the only reason why I don't like critical hits at the minute is because I've been playing a lot of Team Fortress 2 recently. And, uh, well, Team Fortress 2 being Team Fortress 2. Um, random crits seem to be not only very, very fair and balanced, totally, I'm, I'm obviously saying I've got a hint of sarcasm. Um, every time I basically come close to achieving a really annoyingly difficult objective on my contract. Oh, he died of poison, by the way. Um, basically, every time I get really, really close to doing one of those really hard objectives on a contract, like, you know, like, get like five kills in a life with a really wanky weapon, like the flog just, no, not the. Actually, yeah, the phlogistonator, or, um, what's it called? The shotgun. Yeah, basically, a scout or a pyro will just fucking walk right in, and he will randomly crit me and ruin everything, because... Well, that's just what happens when you try to achieve anything in a video game. It's what, Sod's Law, I believe it's called? Some, someone's Law? Basically, someone who, someone who hates you more uh, basically takes place. I should just... Oh, he's been... I was going to say, I was just going to keep you in every battle from now, since I can just basically bullshit the game with this... Uh, healing power, but now you've just kind of unproven your case for yourself, but oh well, anyway. Looks like we've won against, against the uh, the demons from the planet Krang, is what I'm going to call them now, because let's say they look more like aliens than demons with those stupid massive heads. Yeah, they do, they do have big forehead syndrome, don't they? Uh, right, anyway, we've won the battle because I said so. We literally have. Really difficult, guys, and it was only because the assassin was being useless as ever. And again, I guess that's why you don't bring an assassin into direct combat, but whatever. We are dealing with Dungeons and Dragons shit posting here, or at least Dungeons and Dragons in the laziest possible way. Either way, we won and got some stuff. Can we leave now and just go to the final boss? No, because this guy has to lean over with a nice sensitive music. Now tell me where you took King Edmund, whoa. We took him to Forgotten Land Stronghold while we searched for capital for more souls. But I doubt he's still there though. I'm sure they've already taken him south. You'll never find him. What? <laughs> Have you never seen a compass in your life, mate? Wait, you better be saying what lies south of here or, or are you like geographically illiterate? This next dialogue will tell us, but Dark Force, erg. Okay, he's dead, by the way. But once more, because of a really, really, let's well, face it, I'm guessing the guy couldn't bring himself to draw death, so we just had fade out. He spoke of Dark Force as a place. We must make haste if we have any hope of rescuing Edward. We must go to the stronghold. Does that mean a really annoying? Yeah, it does mean a really annoying battle, but. Uh, we'll save a really annoying battle for next time because tomorrow's that's about as much as I can take for an entire episode. And I must now go and have like a 10 minute break away from this game before the story gives me another headache because... Yeah, I know I'm probably being unnecessarily cruel to this game, but... I don't like it. End of. By the way, that's west, you twat. This is not south. But whatever, I don't know. See you on the next episode, my friends.